Welcome to our Educational Virtual Learning. Today, we are going to discuss possible subsumption theory. And without any further ado, let's welcome our teacher, Teacher Emily, to discuss the meaning and objectives of this theory. Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Emily, and for today's discussion, we will be discussing Ausubel's Subsumption Theory. Our learning objectives are to discuss Ausubel's Subsumption Theory and to help students understand the four processes for meaningful learning. Let us first talk about who is David Ausubel. David Ausubel is an American psychologist who specialized in education and learning behaviors. In 1963, he introduced the subsumption theory which centers on the idea that learners can more effectively acquire new knowledge if it is tied to their existing knowledge base and that only unique information that stands out within the lesson is committed to memory. Alcibel's subsumption theory prescribes a way of creating instructional material that helps learners organize their content in order to make it meaningful for transfer. The goal here is for learners to have the necessary background that will help them solve any problem and also retain this knowledge. Also, this theory explains that knowledge is hierarchically organized and that new information is meaningful if it can be related to what is already known. When an idea is forgotten, it is simply because the specific details and associated thoughts get lost in the crowd and can no longer be differentiated from other pieces of information. Take note that subsumption is a process by which new material is related to pertinent ideas in the existing cognitive domain of the person. In utilizing subsumption theory of David Ausubel, it is important to know the four processes for meaningful learning. In this, Christianson will discuss the four processes for meaningful learning. Thank you, Emily. Meaningful learning takes place when an idea to be learned is related in some sensible way to ideas that the learner already possesses. David Ausubel believed that before new material can be presented effectively, the student's cognitive structure should be strengthened. There are four processes for meaningful learning. First on the list is derivative learning. The meaning of derivative learning is it possesses the new material derives from the existing structure and can be linked to other concepts or lead to new interpretations. Second, correlative subsumption. This is claimed when the new material is an extension of the already grasped knowledge. For instance, you have learned about this new kind of bird through the processes of correlative subsumption. In a sense, you might say this is more valuable. Learning than that of derivative subsumption since it enriches, enriches rather the higher level concept. Third is superordinate learning. It claimed that one could only learn a concept itself until it was taught to a person. For example, students know 0 to 3 numbers, but they fail to realize these are all whole numbers until these were taught to them. Simply imagine that a child was well acquainted with banana, mango, guava, and etc. But the child did not know until, the, until it is taught to them that these were all examples of fruits. In this case, the child or the the child already knew a lot of examples of the concept, did not, but did not know the concept itself until it was taught to them. Lastly, combinatorial learning. This is when newly acquired knowledge combines with prior knowledge to enrich the understanding of both concepts. This is learning by analogy. This describes a process by which the new idea is derived from another idea that is neither higher nor lower in the hierarchy, but at the same level. However, students, despite the fact that the, that the subsumption theory deals primarily with, with rote learning principles, its primary goal is to create meaningful learning experiences. 
Meaningful learning occurs when an individual is able to create connections between what they learn and what they already know within their cognit cognitive structures of their minds. Now, let's proceed with the advanced organizing. By using advanced organizers, students' cognitive structures will be strengthened. Also, it allows students to have a bird's eye overview or to see the big picture. Of the topic to be learned even before going to the details. Possible pointed out that the advanced organizers are not the same as overviews and summaries which simply emphasizes key ideas presented at the same level of abstractions and generally as the rest of the material. The advanced organizer is a major instructional tool proposed by Osibel. Here are the four types of advanced organizers. The expository describes new content. Second is the narrative, presented new information in a stay in a story format. Third is skimming, looking over a new material to gain a basic overview. Lastly is graphic. These are visuals to outline the new information. It may include pictographs, conceptual patterns, and concept maps. Also, there are other types of graphic organizers, and these are pie charts, Venn diagrams, concept maps, mind maps, analogy organizer, T charts, and Y charts. These are just some of the graphic organizers which are commonly used by the teachers and students to summarize key points. For this mind map, the central theme is the Alcibel subsumption theory. And there are five associations, starting with the biography of David Alcibel. Next is the meaning of sub subsumption. The third one is the four processes for meaningful learning followed by the advanced organizers and the other types of graphic organizers. This also explains that Ausubel's subsumption theory prescribes a way of creating instructional material that helps teachers organize their content in order to make it meaningful for transfer. This mind map also gives emphasis to the four processes for meaningful learning, and they are the derivative subsumption, the correlative subsumption, the superordinate learning, and lastly, the combinatorial learning. Next is the advanced organizers proposed by David Ausubel. There are four. The first one is the expository narrative skimming and the graphic. Lastly, we have the other types of graphic organizers, namely pie charts, Venn diagrams, mind maps, concept maps, analogy organizer, t charts, y charts, and etc. And the overall view of this mind map is to provide a summary of Subsumption theory proposed by David Ausubel and how it prescribes a way of creating instructional material to help the learners organize their learning ideas.